Lars, take one, Mark. My name is Lars Nelson, and I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. My first ballet with New York City Ballet was in the fall section of Jerome Robbins' The Four Seasons. And the first step that we do out is that we run on stage into this big grand jeté, and when we land, there's silence for like two seconds. And I remember looking out into the theater and just thinking, wow. And then I quickly had to refocus and think about my steps and my choreography and make sure that I wasn't in anyone's way. So it was definitely a whirlwind moment for my first time out on the stage, but um, it was very fulfilling. And I often think back on it now and laugh. When I watch uh, everyone run out on stage in a big grand jeté, I always remember that was my first step on New York City Ballet stage. If I could dance one ballet for the rest of my life, it would be Camera Music Number no. 2. It's a really aerobic ballet, and it's the only ballet in the rep with all-male corps de ballet. And the story goes that Rosemary Dunlavy had challenged Mr. B to make a ballet for the men. And um, he had this piece of Hindemith music and, that he didn't really know what to do with. It was really hard to count. And he said, okay, you know what, I, I, I'll try. He supposedly made the first, whole first movement in one rehearsal. And when rehearsal finished, he turns to her and said, it just might work. And Rosemary said she'd never seen the guys in the company so focused and determined as when they were learning that ballet for the first time. My favorite book is Where is Joe Merchant by Jimmy Buffett. It's just such an outlandish story, but yet it seems to work. Jimmy Buffett is just a fantastic storyteller in his music, but also in his writing. It's definitely a book I've read probably four or five times. My hero definitely is Johnny Erickson Tata. She became a quadriplegic as a teenager when she jumped into shallow water. And um, my older brother has cerebral palsy. So growing up, I was always um, surrounded by others with disabilities. So it really has, they really have a soft spot in my heart. And what Johnny's foundation, Johnny and Friends, does is they collect wheelchairs new and used and fix them up and deliver them to thousands of people around the world. And it really restores a sense of dignity to those living with disabilities and mobility issues and their families, and especially in parts of the world where something like a wheelchair would just not be available to most people. If I could ask George Balanchine one question, it would be, how did he make such masterpieces during the Stravinsky Festival? That was a festival that produced ballets like uh, Symphony in Three Movements, Stravinsky Violin Concerto, Duo Concertant, and he would be in one studio for an hour working on one and then go to the next studio and work on another masterpiece. Those are real, really ballets that define New York City ballet and he made those all for a one-week festival. I would ask kind of where that inspiration came from for all those different ballets.